Well, it is almost, it's after eight. It's after eight o'clock on uh, Monday night. Went back to the barn to pick up Ava. She had dance. I need to go back to the barn real quick and uh, drop off some stuff to everybody that was, we had to get some supplies from, from the tax shop. Horses are all training tomorrow. Now, that's why I am uh, doing this video. Two reasons. All well, three reasons. Where? Yeah. Not really, just dusk. Black licorice. Yeah. I love black licorice. Especially when it's like old and like you just snap Ew. it right off. Oh, it's so good. Um, so, uh, obviously, we watched Spitfire Overseas race tonight. Obviously, very weird to see Renegade Gypsy make a break, especially in a, in a good spot, um, leaving from the rail. I would say it's an anomaly. I, it seemed fine to me when he went under the wire. I don't know. He has made the odd break on us, um, so it's not foreign to him, but it is rare. So, uh, Spitfire Overseas, the trip he went was, wow, spectacular. I mean... Uh, we talk all the time about the, we talk all the time about how tough it is for four-year-olds. Now, you throw a four-year-old. Now, granted, he won in fifty, one and one. It was a great mile. It was the fastest mile of the year, and a number. There's track record, but he's still four-year-old turning five. Uh, four-year-old turn no three-year-old turning four. And for him to be relegated, you know, a handicap, handicap with the nine-hole on a five-eighths mile track against aged horses. And to be parked well past the quarter and win the open was was nothing short of spectacular. The horse raced unbelievably good. Uh, Stacy and Brett have him very, very good right now. And I think probably a couple of those inside trips went a long way for uh, Spitfire Overseas confidence right now. Because he is certainly brimming with confidence. He looked amazing. Now, uh, we haven't, I could have waited half an hour. We have Kings County coming up, Locatelli and Yo Mister, but that isn't really why I was making the video. The video was for, for clarity. I'm going to send a message out to everybody on our site also. I had told everybody, maybe a little prematurely, that we were going to train everything tomorrow without taking everything into account. One, was it wise to try and train 68 horses in one day? Probably not. Probably not. Then you factor in that, uh, the babies both went two kind of decent miles last week, uh, both Tuesday and Friday, and they're not going to go a, a big mile to start the week. They're going to be backed right up to 48 to 52. Uh, lots of movement in the miles. Not really what you guys are looking for as far as watching the horses go. Um, so we decided, I decided to, to come to an agreement with Jason, who was the, the voice of reason in this case. Uh, came to an agreement with Jason and said, you know what, why don't we train all the two-year-olds on Wednesday? We'll train all the right, we got uh, uh, 19 sophomores, no, 18 sophomores training and four racehorses. We still have 22 horses training uh, tomorrow. 22 horses training, three, uh, two for sure will be going faster miles. I'm interested to watch... Um, I'm going to go with Pickpocket, but watch Tactical Mounds and Memory and Imagination go and Arson go. Really interested to see them. Now, Jason, we're short of, we're short of caretaker uh, for the next little bit, and uh, Jason has decided he wanted to stay in the barn. So I was trying to talk Hunter Myers or one of the drivers into coming out. If not, uh, I'll reach out to Daryl. Hopefully it's not too late. Within the next hour, if I don't hear back from Hunter, I'll reach out to Daryl and ask him if he can come and go with them. Um, Jason has elected to stay in the barn, which is... Very good of him. It would have been a very difficult day otherwise. Um, so 22 horses will train for you guys tomorrow. We'll train the babies slower on Wednesday, all of them, and then uh, come back with them on Saturday. Now, are, is it likely or possible we would have a video for you on Saturday? I'd say, yeah, it's a fair, fair assessment, I think. So uh, with that, that was the big news. And then as I was getting ready to do this video, I get to watch uh, Spitfire go out and race the way he did. I, I, I still can't believe that that horse just did what he did. Uh, obviously, it wasn't as fast as it was last week, but the time means nothing. Uh, he's way up in class. First time ever in the Open. They relegated him to the outside, and he still wins the Open in 53-1. Uh, and one. Just a tremendous mile from him tonight. So, very proud of the first part of our night. Uh, as I said, Renegade Gypsy is probably just an anomaly. He'll bounce back next week. Uh, we still have three horses going. In just a half an hour, as I said, just uh, just before nine o'clock, we'll see Locatelli, Yo Mister, and 
uh, and Kings County all at once. So with that, I'll let you guys go. I'm also going to write a little note with this. I want to make sure everybody understands why the babies aren't going tomorrow. Sure, we could have. Would have been a little chaotic and uh, more for our caretakers. Better they don't have a stroke this early in the spring. So with that, I will uh, talk to you all soon. You want some black licorice? Mm. You're weird. Red licorice is better. Red licorice is garbage. No, it's not. Take care.